Hey everybody, Matthew Morris, MM Wood Studio. Basically what I'm doing right now is I'm going to get in the truck and um, head over to the lumber yard and pick up lumber to start this next project. So, let's get to it. Alright, and I'm off to our local small lumber yard, um, Caneo Hardwoods, here in the Caneo Valley. Um, they're in Westlake, and it's about maybe about a 10 minute drive. Okay, I'm here. I just pulled in. It's time to head into the lumber yard and check out the selection. That's what I'm here for, the Honduras Mahogany. It's time to pick some boards. Okay, so all I'm taking today is this eight quarter and three four quarters. And the reason for that is I couldn't find any parts I really liked for the top that didn't have a tremendous curve in them already. So if I can't find it, I don't want to force it. So I'm just going to grab this. It's going to be perfect for the base. It'll get me started and I'll come back and you know, grab some stuff for the top at a later date. So no biggie. Um, one of the big things you need to do when you're at a yard, though, is make sure that you put where you are at back together. So here's all the mahogany that I was sorting through. And um, everything is back in its place. It's not out like some other people did at different times. So really be a good steward of the yard and make sure to put everything back when you're done. Now for the bottom of the drawers, I grabbed some four-quarter soft maple, this really awesome ribbon pattern. I'm really digging it. Hopefully you can see it with the light here. That looks pretty cool. Now it's time to get this guy, all the stuff tallied up. So for this project, like the Scotch cabinet, I'm trying to buy wood that is more accessible um, than what I would normally purchase when I'm doing a project. So here I went to a small local lumber yard. It's about 10 minutes away from my house. And I bought wood from them. So that's all surfaced and straight lined. Um, it's only as straight as a curve could be, unfortunately. And they offer a charge a little bit more for that quote unquote service. Uh, not one that I'm necessarily looking for, but something that you may just have to do because all you have is a small lumber yard near you. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little trip to the lumber yard. I'm really looking forward to getting this lumber here and onto the rack right here so that I can start this next project, which is this Gamble House inspired coffee table. So as always, please subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and have a great week in the shop.